Hey love bugs, this is Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs. My grown and beautiful family. As always, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. You know, uh, much love to all. Namaste. Love and blessings. Love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Um, and I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. Hey, the videos is blessed and blocked from anything that's not serving me. Anything is detrimental to my soul. Is This is for, uh, you know, upliftment, uh, perfection, and, and reflection and intention and attention so anything that's coming back towards my way with uh unseen intentions you know hidden motives and all that stuff where you want to put your will on me is being blocked and it's returned to sender so let's handle this accordingly so anyway the videos i'm about to do today it's called Twin Flame 101. It's like, hey, Oka, you got to go through a little hell to get your taste of heaven. It is true. You know, there'll be so many different things in our life where maybe we didn't have confidence in ourselves. Or we allow ourselves to uh, focus on more about how what how people perceived us and less of who we are being um in a, um, a situation where we look down at ourselves just because living situations or the uh money that we we had or what we lacked um trying to be people pleasers and all that stuff and it's just like situations universal guide us uh to flow accordingly to where you have to be at that person it, it's just like you know you're getting out of uh you know external validation trying to get people's approval you know uh trying to make sure you go through all measures for people to understand you uh you're living for other people but your lack of living for yourself all those different things this is just i've been through all that you know i've been through all that i have no problem with telling people you know those are the different things that i went through i've always had people like family well that was my family because i don't even want to say that. that that was some experiments and examples that i would never do again but that was uh you know, people I knew that I thought was family used to always worry about how they were being perceived. They wanted to be looking. I'm like, man, that's some step for why creepy, you know, X Files looking stuff. My why? Why is everything <laughs> he's gonna talk to is pretending on, you know, uh, materialistic things? You know, people want to be on that, you know, third three D vibe, you know, mentality. And it was just like when I see, when I see how that was projecting, I'm like. You know, I didn't worry about uh, why you always got to make somebody know that you got all that. Cause my, in my, my mentality, how I was growing up with my mom, she's like, anytime you put stuff on front street and this is all you got, this is you showing people you ain't used to good things. You're not used to uh, having nice things. You're always trying to project to have people look at you in a different way of something you're not, you know. And I had to be able to deal with that. And it was just different things that I would do in my life because, you know, as like, you've been with me for a while, you've heard me give dark side of my life. And I, I'm at that way where I'm not worried about how people perceive me. I see what people will do, you know, to, to, to paint a whole picture about themselves and knowing that is not your look. That is not the same. I'm like, you said what? People say, oh, you know, he said this and that. And why you look nothing? <laughs> I'm like, if you want to believe that, okay. You know, I used to be like that. And it would just be at, at that point in life where I did things, you know, where I went through stuff. And, you know, as growing up and as a teenager, we do a lot of stupid things. You know, sometimes it, it, it can, we can be still be doing stupid things when we get older. But it was at that point where I know things got to change. If I want my life to be better, I have to start moving better. I have to, you know, make the best decisions. You know, even if it's, it could be a setback, we're learning from our different situations. We're learning from the, the way we go, how we go, how we go about it, how we look at things, how we project, how we, you know, embody different things in our life. We have to be able to act accordingly. It's, it's just like comparing your life to somebody else's you know why you know why they have this and i'll have that or why do they know this i have that and it's just that you, you know everybody is different not everybody is on the same journey we're not you know i feel like you know we're all on the same mission but our scenarios of our journey is different you know you may be going through some things you have to accept you have to heal you got to be able to let go seeing you know you had to go through some kind of setback to you know prepare you for a powerful comeback and it's going to be that comeback that you weren't expecting and those are the things I had to really learn from, you know, um, going through life. It, it is not, you know, some people have a good life. Some, some people would be just be, you be going through a lot. You know, you're going through a lot because sometimes it's not as bad as somebody else's and it could be worse off than what you have. You know, be different things you may be, you know, complaining about. 
that can be really be petty. You know, we can be really mad about some stuff like that. And universe will make you feel very small when it will show you different things. You know, I could be complaining about the stuff that I got going on in my life and say, I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired. But it, it's just like, you can say that, but then my higher self is just like, we know you're tired of this. But are you moving accordingly for those things to change? I'm like, ooh, touche. I didn't think about it like that. Am I doing? Am I being grateful for just what I have? Even though it may not be what I want, but am I being grateful for what I have? Because when you're showing more gratitude towards things, that's where universe is saying, okay, they appreciate it. Even it could be five dollars you found in you know in your laundry, you know, or you had to go to a wash mat. Next, thing you know, you don't seen like twenty dollars. I remember when uh, one day I was stressed out. It, it was like in my early twenties, you know, and my babies were still young. You know, I, I started having babies, at, you know, in an early age, and I had three daughters. But I was, by the time I was like 21, 22, you know, era. And um, you know, I was really stressing out. You know, how am I gonna pay my electric bill? This and this and that. And it was just like my daughters had to. Uh, this is when we we had Blockbuster. You know, it was like what do they have? Movie. I was like, well, Hollywood video and stuff like that. You know, it was like, you know, different things like that. I had to go to Blockbuster because my friend worked there. He used to get a lot of discounts. And it was just like, you know, the kids wanted to have, uh, you know, different movies. And we had like movie night and popcorn and stuff where we lay all our cushions out. And, you know, different things where we, you know, it was like we were having a camp out. So I would do that with my girls every weekend. And I was really stressed out. It's like, well, you know what? Let me just do this. And, you know, God will find a way. And, you know, I kept on hearing that vibration. Just relax. We got you. Relax. We got you. And it would be a different thing where I'm just talking to my friend. There wasn't nobody there. They was getting ready to close up, you know. So they had to go ahead and, you know, shut down everything. He's like, hey, Roz, you know, you dropped some on the ground. And I looked. I'm like, okay. You know, probably like a dollar I had. And went to the car. Baby, let me tell you, it was like my bill was like a hundred dollars, you know. And I asked my mom because she helped me, you know. I, uh, my mom said, I don't I got no money, <laughs> okay. There's some Negroes that always broke and had forever money, but I went in there, went in the car, and I was just crying because it was just like God knew I was trying to make a way for my babies, you know. I did what I had to do, you know. It was a blessing I had a mom, you know, even though we were like oil and water, you know, very toxic. My mom was there for me when I truly needed her, when she could be. And it was like, I kept on hearing, you know, God was like, I'm going to help you. I'm going to help you, you know. And I was really just, I don't know what to do. And I was I was that type of mom where I, I, I was living in the Midwest and you were close to St. Louis. I would be dancing in St. Louis, come dance here on a military installation and go to my other job right after that. And will not be having sleep, just be running on fumes and just be tired. But I was willing to do that. That's what I did for my kids and I didn't care, you know. And as soon as I went to the car, I thought it was a dollar. Baby, when I say somebody dropped $300 and Blockbuster, I went and cried and I cried. And Universe was like, didn't we tell you we got you? Because they see how I was trying to make a living with my, my kids. You know, I didn't want to have a sob story about what stuff I did. But, you know, like I tell my kids, you know, cause my daughter be tripping, my oldest one. She's like, Mom, I'm stressed out. You know, I got Mari and this and this and that. My baby just turned five years old a couple of days ago. And I told her, I said, look, look at it this way. You think you, you about to pull your hair out just for one. You, remember this age you're at. I had three of y'all. Three three different vibrations of me. That was a lot. You know because I only got one. But it was just like you, you got three. Three different sides of you. You got three different attitudes that you got combined in these little children. You know that was like a whole headache and a half. But it was just like seeing those different times like that's why i tell people i ain't got no shame in my game there's too many people around here they be lying about how certain things in life because they embarrassed not embarrassed but embarrassed because of how people see you and it's just like you had to be at that vibration to know who the heck can judge you people be judging you all day long and ain't even trying to get their life right ain't even trying to get their life right you have gone through things because you've gone through things you have been through things and seen things that others may have not even seen you had to live a life in war zones you know where people were in the company of peace you had to be out here where you, you know your family threw you out to the woods where some people had that kind of support with family you know you have gone through things and that's why i tell people never allow somebody to make you feel shameful of how your life used to be or how your life can currently be if you know you're doing all you can to make crooked become straight that's all you need to be doing don't be worrying about some of my opinions of others because it's like i tell people real quick you want to crack up laughing at the stuff i did it's like oh i wouldn't be telling nobody that laugh for what i'm like what is it going to do for me to appease somebody making my life look like it's better than theirs what am i getting out of that Except being fraudulent about myself, being fake. And that's what y'all do very comfortably. So what am I supposed to do? I'm going to keep it real. 
you know because I had to grow up where people are always worried about how they would be perceived they're still like that somebody come out of tongue and be saying something bad about them on on Facebook or IG but I was like you know you need to tell her this stuff well shit was real why didn't it, didn't it happen yeah okay then get off my phone I'm on vacation I'm trying to have fun you know you worried about what somebody how they gonna see you y'all know y'all fake and y'all want to sit up here and let people see, see you in one way when you totally act another. That's all on you, baby. Because I already see I'm not a people pleaser. I don't have time for that. And I had to learn to get out of that situation where that. Because it's not like, you know, I want to dog, you know, those. I don't even talk about them. But dog them like that. But it was in my situation. I had to go through hell. There are some of us that really go through hell. You know, you be sitting up here. You know, you and your demons got, you, you know, y'all got your own handshake and stuff like that. You know, lighting matches that you left and right and be having s'mores. You know, it, it is what it is. But there's a lot of times you, when you want to make your, your element of heaven into your life, you want to be in a peace, stable relationship, not just with a counterpart, but with yourself. You're trying to allow yourself to be all on the court and create a, a balance within your life. You know, being able to know there will be different times where life is going to really fall short for you. And you have to understand, maybe this is a setback I had to go through. And a lot of times it's hard. It's easier said than done. I totally get that. You know, like people are like, why are you allowing that to bother you? Why are you allowing that to bother you? And that's, you know, something be dropping in their life. They be panicking and say, oh, no, why are you allowing that to bother you? Why are you allowing that? <laughs> you know, and then I'll tell people real quick. I can't tell you how to live your life. I can just allow myself to project the experiences I've had in life for you to make the decisions you need to do for yourself. But there's a lot of times that we don't know how we're going to get to our salvation. You know, you trying to everybody looking for the ladder. Salvation over the soul. I totally get it. You know, and we're willing to do that. And there are some times where we got to go digging through the trenches just to get there. Because there are some times in life where God really wants to humble us. And you be put in different situations where you really have to be humble. There will be different things in my life like, you know, I can allow myself to say, you know, I, I've gotten in some situations where I can say it was my accord, my decisions, and, you know, me being hard-headed got me. Yeah, I'm not going to blame that on nobody else. You know, it'd be a different time. I'll say, I'm only going to own up to the stuff I did, but I'm not going to pick up nobody else's stuff on what they did to me. I'm only going to allow myself to be that way and be real with me. You know, if I can't keep it real with me, who else can I keep it real with? Because I can't be fraudulent with somebody else and then be, you know, be not. It's like, I don't want nobody to judge me. So what? You know, there will be some things that people be have. You know, people are like, oh, we got to keep that in the family. We can't be telling all that. You know, because they got the little family secrets. You know, everybody got like a whole cemetery in the back of their daggone yard. And then one of them automobiles or whatever, you know, in the room and stuff like that. And you're going through these things because not everybody has that picture perfect life. You wouldn't be looking, you know, ain't disrespecting to the royals or nothing. But you would just see the vibrations to where it looked like Kate where she had an opportunity, space and opportunity to not bag on Charles, but clean down them stairs. She would really do it. I'm like, oh, Lord. And they sitting up here hating on God, on Megan and Harry because it, it's like they got a healthy relationship. Yeah, they may be going through some things, but they working through it together. And this, I'm like, everybody, I'm like, oh, you know, Kate and them, they, they look like they about to have a divorce. Y'all just, I don't know that. They, she didn't look happy. From since the second child that she had, you know, and she would look like it was questionable then, you know, and that's just IMO, you know what I'm saying? I'm just going off of vibes. I'm like, oh, she is just irritated to the soul. But since she and this family, they always want to project like they're perfect, she just got to live like that. I was like, man, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. can't do that because I'm not going to be projecting nothing like that. Not, not saying that everybody need to be up in my business like that, but I'm not going to act like something's okay when it's not. You know, that is the worst down downgrade that you can ever do to your soul because you're worried about what other people perceive of your life. You know, you're going to go through different times of your life where, you know, it can give you a, a, a really crazy, you know, situation where you can be down in the dumps one day and then you catapult in, in different stuff like that. It remind me like the movie of... Uh, with the pursuit of happiness that would be that would be one of them one movies you know you got one movie where you're seen it, it just really corrupted your soul and just hurt your heart to see something like that i'm like i'm never watching this mess again this this had me just crying sniffling you know probably passing gas when i didn't want to be because i'm crying so hard and this really hurt my soul to see somebody go through but there's a lot of times you will have situations like that you know i've seen people that were homeless you know i've seen people have gone through some different things it's like when i see tyler perry he used to say he used to you know sleep out over there by the garage you know uh you know uh what do they call it them trash cans 
you know, um, what is it, custodial trash cans or whatever they want to call it, like you have behind the buildings and stuff like that, you know, where I had to be like that. Steve Harvey even used to say I used to live in my car, you know, and going from stand up to stand up. And it's just like you took a big leap. And a lot of times, I know that can be embarrassing sometimes where, you you know, you got to beg for food or go to one of these soup soup places, soup dishes, you know, soup buildings where you can want to get food and stuff for you and your children and stuff like that. And not realize you going through these situations will really make you appreciate life, really not take things for granted. Because a lot of times we get so complacent on what we don't have and appreciate, don't appreciate what we do have in our saying, because there can, you know, a lot of times you, you have to be in those situations where, you know, there's somebody who's doing a lot worse than you, and it, it's just like, yeah, but I, I mean, that's not affecting me, what they're going through, I still wish them love and light and healing, whatever they need, but I'm talking about me, you know, and I'll keep it real, it's not like I'm saying that, like, I don't care, that's not what I'm saying, they're dealing with their stuff while I'm trying to deal with mine. I'm talking about mine. But, you know, people are like, well, you know, you had to be, you know, appreciative of what you have and stuff like that. Because there's people that's doing a worse situation. And I do because God will make you look small as I don't know what. When you complain about one thing, I seen this one woman. I ain't know what happened. But it was some kind of, uh, uh, let me see. I don't know what it is, but it was like the way her body was bent in, a, I, in, in something that I don't know even know how it was normal for her to get like that. But I commended her because it was just like the way her body was bent in a certain way. It was some kind of, I don't want to say deformity, but it was some kind of different, you know, uh, angle she was at. I don't want to use that because, it, 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 you know, when you say deformity, it kind of like sound disrespectful to me. So I'm not trying to use that word. But it was the way she was moving. I'm like, oh my God, I hope she don't, you know, and she shook a lot. And it was, I don't know if it was like, uh, uh, what do they call that, um, cerebral palsy or something like that. But it, I think that's what it may have been. I'm not sure. But I was looking at her, how she's cutting food up and, you know, getting prepared for her kids and stuff like that. I'm like, girl, I give you props because I think I would have lost a finger doing some mess like that. And I said, you good at what you do. You know, because I'm just like, oh, my God, is she having a seizure or something like that? I thought something happened, you know, because I've had seizures before. And that could have really, you know, been a cause of it. But, like, no, she, she was like that. I don't know if it was like an accident or something like that. But, you know, that's how she is on a day-to-day -day basis. And that really make you feel small. Like, let me go repent. Let me go burn some sage because I'm so sorry. You know, because it make you feel like, damn, I'm petty is I don't know what. Some people are complaining about something, and this woman, like, this is her. You know, I seen one girl, she was showing different techniques, and she had her, her, uh, her arms were shortened, and she didn't have, I think she had the ones where it, it's like when their fingers are formed, and they, they said it's like a crab like state or whatever on that, and she was, I'm like, girl, I can't even, you know, put a wig on like that. I don't know how, you, I don't, and I'm looking at her and giving her so many props because I'm like, dang, that's talent. You know, because you really never know. Because it would be different things that, oh, I'm tired. I don't feel like it. My eye got a cramp. My finger got a cramp. And this and this and that. I don't feel like working. I don't feel like being active. And you see a boy that ain't got no arms, no legs. And this boy over here sitting up here doing soccer. I'm like, um, I may not have it. But can you give me the energy you got? Because, <laughs> oh, baby, I can't even do it. He was like pushing the bag on hood. Pushing the bag on crystal. It seemed like too much work for me right now. But then it'll, Universal give you stuff like that to really make you humble yourself. You know, you, you can have this image that Universal put in you saying, this could be your life. And it was like, is he on something? Because how is this being my life? And I'm sitting up here sleeping in my backseat, you know, trying to wash myself up in a gas station. I'm really trying to understand that. And it's like, Universal tell you there'll be different stages of your life where you don't know. You'll be a walking testimony to some people that you're showing. It, your life can be one way and it can turn drastic overnight at times you know sometimes you got to go through different stuff like i was saying pursuit of happiness he's trying to get i think it was like a sewing machine or something like that he's trying to sell and you know he crying trying to sit up here and hold him look you know will smith and little Jaden out there and i mean i'm crying while I'm, right along with him people trying to break into the bathroom and he's just trying to keep his son safe and i was just like oh my god i can't watch this movie no more there'll be certain movies i, I just refuse to watch i was like precious human centipede you know stuff like that i, I just couldn't and they'll just really make you appreciate life a lot better because you don't know what somebody is going through. A lot of times we compare about how a person is. You can't sit up here and characterize this person when you walking in on you you on your chapter one and you don't walked in on somebody chapter twenty. You don't know what them words they were projecting out. You don't know what those different you know context clues was about. You don't know what the you know the titlement of that book is. You know, and a lot of times we place judgment on people. There's a lot of times we're trying to, 
you know, we visualize something in our life and we're really trying to find the antidote to get to where we do. And it's just that times that you, you go through that hell to get a little taste of heaven. Sometimes it's going to be you ain't going to be able to hang out with people no more. Sometimes it's going to be you're going to have to take a pause for the cause and really go back and, re, re, you know, really have that moment in time by yourself. You're going to have to make some sacrifices in your life. And that's what I'm telling you. You have to be able to rearrange some different things. When you know you want something, move accordingly into your life. There's going to be some adjustments. going to have to be some changes and hella five sacrifices. You really want something to become better for you. You are being prepped for that automatic come up. The universe got it there. It's like it was already yours. And they'll be like, how you going to say it's already yours and this and this and that and I don't have it yet. You're getting into alignment for that. You know. And these are the things, these are the different experiences you're going to have because it's already yours. Whatever we promise you is already yours. You, you know, you got a, God got a door to open that no man can shut. God got a blessing that nobody can't take away. I don't give a dag on what people are trying to do to you, what they trying, you know, what kind of little blockages they doing or whatever, black magic or whatever. They can't overdo what God doing. And there's a lot of people that be thinking that. I'm like, mm -hmm, I'm going to let you get that thought and I'm going to move over here and you be over there. And that's the reason why you're going through stuff right now. Don't be overthinking that you can overcome God. That's one thing you ain't gonna do, you know. And I be telling people, I say you keep doing that. This is basically you saying, I'm gonna overdo what God got. I don't care what He got for you, but I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna do it. It's mine, you know. Different stuff like that. But it, it's just that that situation. You've seen how different things came into your life. You know, a lot of times it can really make your heart stop with a lot of pain that you're going through. And you're trying to self-assess, like, how am I gonna make this possible? And God is like, when you allow yourself to stay open, be present. In the present, you know, because a lot of times we focus on the past. You know, I do it, <laughs> I do it, I do it, I do it. You know, and worry about the future. I ain't even got here. And they'll be telling you the past don't, the past don't even exist anymore. You're supposed to learn from those lessons, move accordingly. The future ain't even got here yet because whatever you're doing in the present is going to, you know, predict this what's going on in your future. And you know, if you're taking your time out to really allow yourself to appreciate the things that are coming towards you to really, t you know, glow and show you in different ways, you're moving accordingly where you're being guided to because a lot of times universe will get quiet just to see are you going to trust your intuition are you going to go by what your gut is telling you are you going to allow yourself to uh, really go that extra mile for yourself that you have never done before are you going to allow yourself to you know categorize things in a better light because a lot of times if we look at it in a negative way or if we use different you know i gotta do this i gotta do that it's gonna make you feel like i'm forcing myself to do this because i really don't want to do it you know and it's like i get the opportunity to do this or i get an opportunity to do that or i'm gonna love the fact that you know because sometimes we got to change the wording up even it'll be something that you don't want to do and it's like you know this is something the universe has guided me to do and i really don't want to do it but it's like how bad do you want that because <laughs> i can really put some more stuff in your life and a lot of times universe will put that universe and god make that hot seat hot as i don't know what you know just because the fact is you don't got too comfortable, you know, that comfort zone, you know, where you got comfortable. I was like, how am I getting comfortable? Because the fact is you may be in a detrimental situation. You may be in, in um, a projection of hellation in, in a situation. You got comforted by there. And it's like, how do you, I'm not comfortable. But you keep on thinking this is where your life is going to continue to be. This is only temporary. Everything you go through is temporary. They want you to live like it's your last. If you're allowing yourself to put in, in the ends for it, you putting in the funds, you know, the metaphysical, uh, you know, funds into it. you allowing yourself to shift how you're looking at different things for within your life. These are the things that's prepping me to become better. I'm allowing myself to distance myself from what no longer serves me. Allowing myself to eliminate certain things that are just a, a complete distraction. Allowing myself to, you know, distance and cut off things that are just really stunting my growth. And when you're seeing that universe is saying, see you working on for yourself. Because that means you're having faith in it. Because a lot of times we go through stuff and we don't have you know, a lot of times we focus on, on, on the lack. And there'll be times that, you know, universe, they'll be like, you know, I'll be looking at them and just want to roll my eyes and have towards words for them. It's like, oh, we give you everything you need. What the hell? Okay, no, you don't. <laughs> no, you give it to me when you feel like giving it to me. And then it's just like, girl, you got to back up. <laughs> you know, they can block you or keep having your butt go through that same situation. You do not need to be going on Groundhog Day. This is those different things where you wake up in the morning. Be grateful that. You know, you were like, look, my nerve shot. I'm working at, like, I live in a house, but it feels like a fortress of hell. Yeah, you do it. I was like, we know what you're going through. We see it. We don't plan it. <laughs> you know, this is your strategy. We're just trying to see, are you going to move accordingly? And these are the different things that, you know, when you allow yourself to not allow your shortcomings stop you. 
when you allow yourself to not let people be in your way. Like a lot of time we entertain that stuff and you know good and well this person coming into your life, you know, that people don't want to see you do good. People don't want to see you rise to occasion once you be out of that. Because they know you got the potential and the light and the power to be able to do that. So they will distract you at all all you know, all any any cost. And they need to do that. And there'll be different things that they'll bring into your life that, you know, is not nurturing for you. It's very detrimental to what your growth is going to is, you know, going to that level where you know you need to quit entertaining certain things. You know, this is not for you. You know, people that want to see you grow is gonna put that initiative like, hey, you sleeping on yourself. Hey, you need to, you know, do better. Hey, why are you acting like that? You know, yeah, what what's today to help you get, you know, give you that encouragement that you know you got the you got what it takes to move on. You know, and these are the different things that's going to take place into your life where it's preparing you. A lot of times we have to be able to understand. We go through different things. We got to be able to really see experiences of what it is, what it's teaching us, where can it take us. Are we really seeing, you know, that experience within a whole and just being able to say, what is the universe trying to teach me within my life? What are they really trying to show me that I may be blind from it because I may be focused on different things? You know, am I allowing myself to go, you know, because there's a lot of time. That, um, oh no, they just said, did they just, damn, Olivia Newton-John just passed away. That's messed up. I used to like her, it was like, um, I think that's the one who played on Grease. That Lord, get prayers for that. Um, I knew I seen something, I was like, wait a minute, that messed me up. She died at 73, and that's, that's still young. But, um, God rest her soul, uh, love and light to her family. That's messed up. But, uh. You know, you're going through different things in your life where it gives you that moment of change. Because there'll be a lot of times where you may second guess yourself and feel like you don't have the means of the initiative to do this. You don't have, you know, the people that they can help you do this into your life. Um, you don't have people to stand by you. And a lot of times it's like, why are you always concentrating about the people you have around you? I'm giving this for you. There's a there's a view of, of, of a masterpiece I'm giving you. I didn't give it to everybody else. I give you. I give you a vision only you can see. But I'm going to let you do that. But you don't need all of them to do that. Because a lot of times, I put those people in your life to see what you're going to pay more attention on. The stuff that I told you, you can plan to go upscale for for yourself. Or you want to entertain some stuff that clearly shows that they don't even want you doing better in your life. They want you to stay stuck. Or these people want to stay, you know, glued to you to make sure that they can be able to profit off of your abundance. And they ain't even put no ends on it to make it work in the first place. They're going to put different strategies in your life. And you're going to see these different situations. And there will be times where you get angry with God get angry at the universe because it's like not making sense to you but there'll be a lot of times that we can be focused on something and it could be the fact is we looking at it in a whole different way you're like you gotta read past it you know a lot of times we put some smoke and mirrors in our life and that'll be that clearest distraction the devil hope you stay focused on you know a lot of times you have to be my mom always told me you keep hanging around with certain people because these are the people who are you showing they're gonna block every day gonna bless this meant for you to go in that come up and just because you hanging around that type of energy you ain't gonna get it I'm like, mama, how do you know about all this because you know your parents know you don't, they don't been through stuff it'll be just like my my, my kids you don't know this is my life you know be the same language i was telling my mom she didn't know you don't understand me this is my life you know i went through it too and it's like our parents we sometimes we fail to get our parents were teenagers too. They didn't do some dumb stuff. You know, they don't been around that block. They're just trying to get us there safely. You know, so these are the different things where you want to have to get very, very, you know, uh, aggressive with change. And you know, a lot of times they have to do that. It'll be a different time. I'll be really stressed out. It'll be sometimes, you know, you know, they'll be like, yeah, I know you want to, some of that herb, don't you? You want to go, <laughs> go back and, you know, you, you know, go get you some herb to the curb, you know, roll it up and say, shut up. You know, you want to go talk to Bob Marley. No, I'm good. The last time I did that mess had me paranoid and everything sounded like I was in concert. I'm good. You know, you need a drink? No, that, that messes up my stomach. You want a cigarette? No, that hurts my throat. No, because he was already trying to grow back to me. He wanted me to grow back. Grow back to, the, to stagnation. I'm trying to ante up. And these are the different things where you will start noticing. And it, a lot of times it may take you longer than anybody else, but that don't matter. You know, you still mo making movement. You are on your own timeline. If you know every day you're doing something to improve your growth, you're allowing yourself to appreciate every move you made. You're appreciating how you allowed yourself to see things before, you know, did you observe or did you allow yourself to absorb? Did you allow yourself to respond if there was a need of response or you allowed yourself to react? You, you know, universe don't put these different things into your life. Because a lot of times we're like, why do you keep putting hell and, hellish stuff into my life when I'm trying to move over? This is the things we want you to see, the potential in you. 
A lot of times, if, if everything came easy for us, we wouldn't be making a sacrifice. We wouldn't be going through gratitude. We wouldn't be able to appreciate nothing. And this is the reason why he put that stumble in there. Because it's just like, if I'm going to give you a blessing of a lifetime, this this going to carry on for lineages. You know, you know, your legacy, you building up something that's supposed to be, you know, keep mounting up. It's going to have a currency and it's going to keep going. You know, you have to be in situations to where you're going to appreciate every bump, every turn, every fall back, every fall short, every come up, every glow up, every blow up. You're going to appreciate every daggone change you don't went through because it's going to give you that appreciation to know whatever I'm giving you is supposed to last. So I want you to appreciate this. That's the reason why a lot of us, we have to be grateful for God giving us no at that time. Because a lot of times it could, it could be that no and it, it's not not now. It's not a no. Let me say that that way. It's not no, but it's not a not now. It may be delayed, but it's not being denied. Because it could be different people and that come up and mess everything up. You know, just because of the people you hanging around. You know, different people. You you don't know what hidden agendas people got for you. You know, people allow yourself. God tell people a lot of times people see empath as idiot. A lot of people will sit up here and you you comment a milestone and they want to be able to manipulate. You know, they got their own hidden agenda for you. Because a lot of times when they see people got a kind of heart, they use it for weakness. I've had that a lot of times. And sometimes I had to stop using my heart at times. It, it was just like, y'all y'all taking advantage of that. And I'm not going to allow you to do that. And I had to really pull myself back and just, you know, alienate myself from the world. You know, pull back and really look at my all my angles, all my options. What I really want to do and keep it to myself and handle it accordingly. Because there will be different things you had to go through just to learn lessons. Like I tell you all the time. You know, you may be working on something and be proud of your achievements. And you should be happy and proud of your achievements. But there are some things you will have to keep to yourself. Because you know if, it, if you ain't in that position to where it cannot be fell back. It can't collapse. It can't fall down. It can't be corrupted. Then you, if you want to feel like you want to be able to celebrate your, you know, your milestone, you should be able to do that. But if this is something in the making, it's something you haven't touched down on yet, you can't do that. Because there will be some evil spirit in the world that's low life on their vibrations. And they feel like they're the only one in the world, that only, they're the only one in the world that deserves happiness and blessings. They're going to be that one that throw all type of energy in your life. And you kind of wonder why you lost interest for it. All of a sudden, you know, uh, the count, it, it could be something you had to sign a contract and you, you, you didn't have the money for it. I had a situation like that where people were like, oh God, you're doing that. And they want to have, oh, you know, but you can do this. You, you know, they were so happy to see something fall short in my life. Because these people had low, you know, low vibrations, insecurities, you know, trying to see how can they block everything. Because a lot of times people be in your life and they know you ain't trying to carry them with them. So they'll sit up here and block every goddamn thing thing you got good coming into your life. Or it'll be that one to be in there and it'll be sabotaging everything that comes to your life. So the universe will allow you to see a lot of things for what it's worth. Either you want to allow yourself to be very insecure about yourself and keep that person on lock. And knowing nothing good ain't going to come into your life. And if it is, there'll be different things. There'll be a blessing. It'll be straight in and quick out. You know, you wonder why it lasts. Cause no, <laughs> no, no. This is not for them to be in a best and an ambience of your blessings. These are the different things. But there's some people you gonna have to just back away from. Love, love. You can love somebody from a distance. That don't mean you gotta have them all up in your best. You know, cause we different times. Like when they get stuff like that, do they be the same way with you? No, they'll be rubbing in things in their face and make you know make it look like it's bigger than what it actually is. And then when you get something, they be all sour puss and be mad as I don't know what, cause you got something. It's just life is like that. But then you have different people that will cheer you on. Just cause the fact is you you moving like a freight train. You actually giving your all to it. They'll be cheering you on. It's like God, now, man, look. This is what I've been seeing this in you all the time. I'm glad that you finally seeing what I've been seeing in you this whole time. Your universe, the universe will bring people that are going to educate you. People are going to come into your life and help you get to that next level. There'll be a lot of people like will be people that will hold you back, but universe will start clearing you out, and it can feel lonely. It can feel really lonely at times. That you know that's part of hell too. Be feeling like hell broke loose. But then it was just like the reason why they took them people out your life. They're only supposed to have a certain access to you, a certain vibration experience with you. They already don't live that. They already don't experience that. Y'all don't learn off of each other. Now it's time for you to move on, you know. And then there will be times where you, you really have to be by yourself. And for you to be in alone by yourself, it's just because the fact is you got to know you on a different vibration. You on on a different language. Universal language that you ain't, you know, you, you, you trying to get to know about yourself. It's really being able to see 
what is your high what is your low what is something that's going to really catapult you what is that going to be that thing that's going to hold you back and a lot of times you got to be brutally honest with yourself we have to be because a lot of times universe will bring something to us and we know we don't want to hear it and it's just like universe is like look i'm already where i need to be you know, I'm just trying to get you there. And for you to be able to do that, there's certain things you're going to have to hear and you're going to have to absorb that and not take it personal. You know, there'll be different times you don't want to hear it. Get out your comfort zone. I'm not comfortable here. Yeah, it is because you ain't moved. You thinking everything is going on around you, that's how it's going to be. It's going to be that way if you don't start moving. You know, and I'll, you know, really be having folks act the fool around you just to see if you're going to be bold enough to move. You know, because University Day, oh, you ain't moving? Okay, let me make it a little bit hotter. You know, and they were like, you can't stand the heat, get the heck out of the kitchen. And there'll be a lot of times you're going through that. So, you know, you won't have to go through your moments of hell. And then when you finally see that you're nonstop, you're not allowing yourself to be distracted by things that's not serving you. You're not going to allow yourself to be an energy that is going to sit up here and block every good thing that's coming in your life because that ain't worth it. Like, dude, you go ahead and do your little thing. If we're going to meet halfway, you need to go over here and heal yourself because you block it every day. on good things coming in my life. Can't worry about that. Sometimes you're going to have to be quiet, move in silence. People don't know what you're doing. They can't, you, you know, they can't block what they can't see. Now, everybody needs to know their announcements. Now, everything needs to be pasted on social media. That's where a lot of people's downfall is at. There's a lot of time people wonder why they got robbed. Because people, you know, some people I'll be looking. And it'll be, it'll be a thorn on my side. You'll be seeing these videos and people just, you got clumps of money. Why, why? And you wonder why people come up, you know, body snatching you. Because you were giving all this nice money, you were seeing, you know, girls twerking and stuff on cars and junk like that. And you sent up here, you know, just throwing money all over the place. And you wonder why people don't came up and shot up your house. Yeah, because you're showing everybody what you got. Now everybody needs to show what you have. You can be rich as I don't know what and look, still look broke. I'd rather be looking around here looking broke, busted, and disgusted. And be having about 50 mil in my daggone bank account. Because you don't need to be knowing what I got. Now everybody needs to know that. Because some people are like, damn, you can already see... They ain't used to this because they about to be parlaying. It'll be a different story when you're using your situation. You got to be using all bundles of money like that. You just you, you bragging and boasting. And next you're going to be busted upside your head and be wondering where your bags went. Because you did that. You you know, you stuck out there being stupid. You play stupid games. You get stupid prizes. You just got to learn how to be able to move in different ways. You know, and you're being able to appreciate every experience. And sometimes universe will put you in a situation and you may not learn, and you'll see exactly what happened to that person. You see how they did that, and you see where they're at right now. You know, you don't want to be in a situation like that. Handle yourself accordingly. I'm putting you through this hell because I want you to create a heaven that you ain't never thought you could be at. But if I put this in your mind, if I can sit up here and give you that third eye vibration that's telling you this is, you about to move your own empire. You're going to be your first family. You're going to be the first family member in your life that's going to be a damn billionaire. You know, you're going to be able to do things where you, you know, you, you impact and if something... If you know if there's something that God wants you to invest in, then not is just going to help you grow in a positive way, but it can be other people that can learn from that. God going to make it happen. When you know you're making them moves, God going to supply everything that you need. Universe is going to give you everything you need. They're going to bring the right people your way to give you that little essential that you needed to do to get to that next level. You know, you're going to go through different people where you're going to have to understand, okay, you know, you'll put people in your life that you already know ain't good for you. You know, so it's just like, are you going to sacrifice yourself? Are you like, oh, I love them. I, I don't sit up here and chose love and being Rudy Poo and being Riri and all that other stuff. Like, look, I have lost a lot of things by being hooked up with something like that where I know I should have pumped brakes and hauled butt the other way, you know, and do stuff like that. Because some people bring that energy and that love bomb energy and be janky. And next thing you know, they put that janky mess on you. No, you, you a winner. You ain't, you ain't even trying to do stuff like that. And these are the different things you're going to do. So it's just like when you get to that point in life, even when you're not exactly where you want to be, don't mean, you know, this is just a pit stop. This is just a pit stop. When you know you're seeing the directions you're doing, you're writing down goals. You you know, especially on your moonlight rituals at a different time, you know, there's going to be a huge shift in, in you know, in, in the atmosphere because we just went through one. You know, you start, universe start sending all these universal codes to you. You know, what I said yesterday, you, you you decoding things and you find out you were missing code. You were. Everybody got their own code. You 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 know, you sit up here and you plugging yourself in because you are part of the what world needs right now. Being able to see because there's a lot of people that feel like, you know, you go through the worst of the worst. You can't come up from that. 
You got to be able to do this. People are like, oh, I got to sell drugs. You know, I got to be selling guns. You know, I got to be a rapper. I got to be this. You got to be that. And they'll be just like, okay, that's all, you know, that's all good. Whatever people want to do in the hood, it, it is what it is. But it's like, I gave you a different mission. I need you to move accordingly. I need you to move when you move. I need you to sit down when you sit down. When I tell you to jump, you need to jump. You know, and these are the different things you're going to have to do. When I tell you to let that go, you need to let it go. When I tell you to go get that and wrap that, you know, you know, cuff that, I need you to do that. And this is a situation we got to be in because a lot of time we got to go through that world of struggle. You know, a lot of time we got to go through constant setbacks. We try to figure out where we're going to get our next dime from. You know, when you go through these different situations and you finally know when you have been, like, very stern with yourself. Because a lot of times you got to be able to do it. You know, and when you're allowing yourself to do that, universe is seeing you taking this seriously. And the more you appreciate the things that's coming in and out of your life, even when it, it just hurt your soul that you had to let go of something. Like I tell y'all, you know, I miss my children. You know, we used to be tight. As soon as we moved to the South and started dealing with all the stuff we dealt with, hell broke loose. Especially, you know, after my dad died, it really got something bad about that because it was a whole can of worms I didn't even know about and it got worse but it was different times where I mean I had to cry about it do what I had to do but it's like if God is telling me I have to let that go for right now and that hurt my heart it's like they're grown you know if it if it's meant to you know we have to all go on our healing journey we all got to go on our you know our journey of knowing ourselves in a whole different level you have to be able to do that and it's just like God is always going to be on that plan you know, they know if you love your kids, you're doing everything you're going to get your kids. And he told you just to separate for a minute or you got to separate for a while. You know, you have to be able to do that. A lot of times you got to make really harsh decisions that break your heart. But this is something going to strengthen your soul. And there will be different things you're going to have to really sacrifice. You know, and I, I tell people, you know, different things. not like gaining attention or feeling bad for myself. I, I'm not I'm not about to be in that victim mentality. I'm a victor. And I'm a whole, you know, I was on my whole line of victory because this ain't going to keep me down. You know, an enemy and the devil will try to do that. You, you know, I tell people real quick, when it's like when God knows you meant for better, that devil will put something on you that sometimes it's hard to shake off, you know. But it's like God's in charge of your life. God is protecting you. You know, don't fall short with these dark, dark entities and these daggone shapeshifters and these, you know, vampire plugs and stuff like that trying to suck the energy out of you everything. It's a lot of times it's really hard. You know, because I go through so much stuff and it's just like I had to really give me that that self-talk and really just say, you don't realize how strong you are. You've seen that everything got snatched from you. You learn different things about something that really could have sent you over the edge and you could have been up in San Quentin somewhere because you don't drop a whole bunch of bodies for doing what they did to you. But no, God said this is going to be different for you. I got a different mission for you that I'm going to need you to go this way. I'm going to need you to heal that way. And I'm dealing with certain so many things. That I'm even shocked with myself. That I'm able to step here and talk about it without crying. Being upset. You know, just being angry. Ready to just push out anything on it. Because I was like the power of the tongue. Life and death coming in and out of that. You know. But it's just at that point. I had to be able to trust, trust God. Be able to trust the universe for everything I'm doing. Give him the grace. You know, every day. And sometimes it's hard for me to do that when I'm going through so much pain. But I have to say, God knows what I don't know yet. He's going to bring me to that sense where I'm going to find out. And I'm a little up from it. You know, I'm going his way. I'm doing all I can. Be some days I just got to be able to focus on me that day. You know, I don't, I used to be able to do like 10, 12 videos a day. You know, you've been with me for a while. Like, girl, if you don't go slow down, pump your brakes, you're doing it. But I, I don't grown so much through different things that I've faced. You know, just being able to share, you know, my experiences in life and have no shame in that. Because I really don't care. You know, I, I go through my life. There will be a lot of things. There will be a shock value to what my purpose is, why, why it brought me here. And sometimes it's still a shock to me. You know, but God put me on that level for me to be able to share that experience with people. When it's time for them to be able to know, they'll know. And in time, it'll make you grow, it'll make you grow. But, you know, there'll be different times I had to make the worst decisions in my life. Because it's like my kids are everything to me. And the devil knew that. You know, the enemy knew that. So they played hard on that. And I had to be that time where it was just like all coming and attacking me at one time to break me down in any kind of way. And I had to be able to just, God, like I got you. I just need you to allow yourself just to disconnect and it, it was just like hold up <laughs> you know I, was, I didn't have family like that you know I had my mom but she ain't no longer here 
you know, and didn't have, you know, any other family like that. You know, everybody else done threw me out to the wolves, you know, hoping the damn wolves would have tore my ass up. You know, all those different things. So it was just like I'm trying to hold my, my, my babies, my babies and my grandbaby, you know, close to me. And it was like, girl, the number one day in your 20s. You know, your oldest one almost near her 30s, you know, but you had to be able to let that go. This is going to be that strength that you needed because there was a lot of time. I mean, when it, when I said hell broke loose in my life because it, it was like I, I have a, a biological mom. We don't talk because of the things that's going on and you know the the, the fear of lies that they don't push on my mom my dad is no longer living they didn't get a chance to have that out of violated in every, every way you know different things that it was really hard for me to be able to digest like you know they did not do this to me you know I know they did not do this to me no nope, don't tell me this truth was in my face the whole time and they and they played on it and they prayed on it and they already know you know, I, I was in some rough way of living. It would be that point, you know, I, I'm a, I tell people real quick, there ain't nothing to brag about. Because the fact is, I had to deal with a lot of people that played victim. I had to deal with a lot of people that made it seem like they didn't do stuff. And some people knew what they did, and they thought that mess was funny, which really made me look at them sideways and saying, there's a lot of stuff that you have to work on yourself if you thought that was something that was cute. That was funny, you know. But it had to be that point where... I knew, I, I'm not the type of person to throw a rock and hide my hand and try to, oh my gosh, you know, Rosalind's doing this and me that. No, you done made me up as that devil. And I say, I ain't care. You know, I'll be the devil's advocate that day because I'm about to, <laughs> woo, you know, do that. But it was the type of person they knew. I said, I wasn't dealing with somebody who was real. I was dealing with fraudulent ass people, you know. And I'm the type of person they know. I would throw the rock, throw a brick through a window and it will sit right there and wait for you to do, wait for you to come back so I can explain to you why I busted that mess up. I'm not like them. I said I was the only one who held myself accountable. I was the only person that sit up here and apologize when I not know I needed to. I didn't sit up here and be, you know, trying to bring up something or make somebody look bad in a certain way because I was insecure about that person because of things they couldn't control or who they looked like. All those different things. I had to go through that. You know, and now it's just like when I talk about it, it ain't about me bringing attention to it because that's like real recognize real when fake walk in the room. Because when that damn truth hits, oh boy. <laughs> and you know, I'm on my straight and narrow. All the other stuff is crooked and fraudulent. I ain't got to worry about it because I'm projecting real. You know, I'm being very honest. I'm being very secure in the things that I went through because nobody's not perfect. I had to go through my moments of hell. But I had to be on that, that, that gone strict diet to sit up here and allow myself. I'm going to make my heaven on earth. I don't give a dag on what kind of enemy want to try to block me on stuff like that. Because if I already know God got me, I ain't going to care about what enemies coming towards me. And I had people put bounties over my head. People trying to kill me left and right. You know, even baby daddy's trying to kill me just to get a you know a little cut of the doctor. You know, get their little you know lump sum of money just to be able to get me out of there. But yet, God still protected me. You know, I got enemies right here now. They be looking at myself and trying to figure out how they can get me down. And they're like, God, why don't she die? I'm just like Michael Myers, got dag on Jason, Freddy Krueger, and got dag on Chucky, Annabelle. I'm just here. You know, baby kid too. I don't die. I multiply. You know, had to go through all that. But I had to know God's for me. If God's for me, I don't care who's against me. Because I know God got me. And that's the only person I'm worried about. I'm a God's fearing person. I ain't no man feeling person. You know, if it's my time to go, it's my time to go. I know died a couple of times on came back. Hey, it is what it is. You know, but this ain't my time. But you're going to go through your different things on earth. You're going to see a lot of things that will be hard for you to even project to other people on what you've seen. You know, a lot of people keep that to themselves. You know, that's their life. That's their mission. It is what it is. But there will be a time where God may pick you to say, okay, you've gone through this. And I want you to be able to tell somebody your story. Because there will be some different people who are just really trying to understand why they went through things. Why is it like this? How am I going to be able to overcome this? How am I going to be able to heal? And you don't realize. You're on somebody's vision board of somebody blessing of experience that you going to learn. Because I tell people all the time, my quote is, you are a person, you are an inspiration that's going to inspire many. You know, there'll be people that are praying for the sustenance of, of experience that they, they're they really trying to un understand and handle that they might find from you. And it's like a lot of times we get to that point, I even ask God, tears in my eyes, you know, just cry until I couldn't breathe no more. You know, and ask God, why did you put me through this? Why? Why me? Why Why did this have to happen? Why did it have to happen in that way? This is so messed up. You know, going off, just mad, just ready to punch everything that is in my sight and just was hurt. And he was just like, I had you go through this. I know you may not understand, but it ain't because of you, even though it happened to you, but it's going to be the people you're going to meet. People are going to come across that. You know, people are going to be able to hear your story and be shocked about the things that you faced. 
and maybe not shocked about the things you face, but you were giving somebody that that line of hope. No matter what you're going through, you may be going through so much hell in your life right now. You may be dealing with, uh, you know, a narcissistic family or a narcissistic husband, wife, even children. You know, you, you, you're dealing with kids and be like in the spawn of Satan and stuff like that. And you're really trying to be at peace and you don't know if you're doing the right thing, wrong thing. And you're trying to find some kind of leeway that's going to take you to the right direction to be able to make life better for you. And you don't know. Your experience might be that, that person's loophole of what they truly had to do. That's why we're all student and teacher, you know, experiences. There will be people that are going to be stumbling over different things and trying to find their way out of a hole. You know, it will be different things. that you, you don't came out the hole. Even if you had to do the Vietnam crawl, you got up out of there. You know, and you don't know that your, your, your story, your experience of life on how you changed everything around. Because you had to work yourself from the ground up. It could be some like, inspiration to inspire many others. So I hope you are able to resonate with the content of this video, y'all. I know I'm so tired. It's like this bag on Lionsgate day. You know, got me through it, but I had to do it. But um, I hope you are able to resonate with the content of that video, y'all. Like I always say, I leave my contact information in the description box below. It's all about spiritual networking, um, just being able to, you know, give you a deeper understanding about your path of purpose or trying to understand if these are normal. I always tell people, if you're a hey, okay, there's nothing we do is normal. It's okay. We're just extra like that. It's all right. <laughs> you know, we learn, we grow from that because we hey, okay, we don't ever do something easy. Everything comes at us heavy. So, you know, I'll try to help out the best way I can. Whatever we speak on is confidential and let it do what it do. If you're ever interested in podcasting, can't catch the video I always have podcasts that you know different content that I have about the same situations you know you know positive mentoring you know uplift you you know be able to try to make sense in whatever we're trying to go through and take it day by day you know it takes patience and dedication so you know if you want to go on that it's on uh, my community page as well and I also leave posts there you know funny things different things that may be you know changing in the world it may be affecting you your kids you know if somebody on the spectrum you know and be off and even your pets you know I mean you know dropping stuff like that just to know hey you know because right now it's like the portals are open and everything is heightened and this is at that time where we cannot be focused on nothing negative you know this is at that time for you being inspiring even things we have to just step back and just really get peace from you deserve that so you know let it do what it do if you ever feel generous enough to drop a donation cash app is there at the bottom too and you know uh whatever you're trying to manifest into your life bring fruition you know, work hard, be dedicated to yourself. You know, it'll be different times where things just feel like it's changing. And it may not seem that like that from the eyes. You know, universe always say it's not always what it seems. You never know what's going on behind the scenes. So, you know, keep being productive, keep being motivated and dedicated. You know, there are beautiful things that can come out of a rough situation. You never know. You know, you may be going through hell, just create your little bit of heaven. So, you go, go ahead and do that. You know, if you know you got you on here you got potential and you got a highlight and there'll be a lot of things that the devil don't want to admit you have that'll mean he'll do anything he can to sit up here and throw you into the doubt you know just because the fact is you can do it today and you have a blessing coming tomorrow so stay dedicated to yourself don't sleep on yourself stay woke you know much love to you please be safe and responsible for everything you do even through social distancing make sure you give out love light positivity words by frequencies you never know all those things really take somebody a long way and just because you did that not wanting in return they'll take you even further much love peace